In 2006, a major Canadian company lost $2 million because in a business contract they made one comma mistake. So I want to talk about the importance of punctuation and give you the rules on how to use a comma properly. Okay, so rule number one is a list. Anytime you have a list of words, phrases, or clauses, each item in the list should be separated with a comma. Okay, an example of a list of words the guests included the president, the first lady, the vice president, and the minister of defense. Now usually with a list you want three or more items, but with adjectives it's an exception. Sometimes we use a comma between just two adjectives instead of connecting them with and. Okay? For example, the beautiful old house had a huge living room. But as I said, you can also use commas in a list of phrases. He spent the weekend researching his topic, writing his essay, and proofreading his final draft. And in a list of clauses. Children use computers to play video games. Business people use them to advertise products. Students use them to research secondary sources. And teachers use them to teach basic skills. Okay, so that's rule number one. Rule number two, you use a comma to link two independent clauses together with a coordinating conjunction. Now by coordinating conjunction, I mean and, but, so, for, or, nor, and yet. Okay? For example, Jason had difficulty in his first semester, but he was at the top of his class by the end of the year. So that's a compound sentence. If you want more information on that, you can check out the video I made on compound sentences. For the second part of this video about comma rules, follow the link below.